So, yeah, no, oh, no. Um, Sonic Symphony is now available for download on iTunes. Oh. That is yes. the one thing we've all been waiting for. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. only a matter of time. I feel like, I know it's, I know it's available on iTunes and Apple Music, but I feel like they need to be put on Spotify. Spotify. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, there are a lot I think it's a matter of time that it will actually Spotify. show on Spotify. I will be happy oh. if, if they could at least get on YouTube Music because that's who I have a subscription with right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I know mm. that people have been like ripping off music from the symphony video right. as their soundtrack, as like a bootleg. But right. I'm glad that Sega is now officially releasing the symphony soundtrack. By the way, oh, yeah. what did you guys think of the symphony soundtrack? Did you all watch it live? Oh or- yes, yes. Oh yeah. my god. Oh. Yeah. I was, I was, I was. So oh my gosh. So I was so jumping out of my skin when they started doing the uh, symphonic rock version of "Live and Learn" and some. Live and learn. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah that, was so, yeah, that, was that was perfect. Yes. Symphonic. I. Knew- I- I'm a sucker. I my absolute favorite genre is uh, symphonic metal and symphonic rock. So the fact that they did a symphonic metal, a symphonic rock version of Live and Learn was was like almost a dream come true for me. It's like I yes. Like, not to mention that I knew that th- the video ended with Crush Forty, and I knew that at the end of every like Crush Forty concert, they always end yep. with Live and Learn. Yep. And oh yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. Like- I called it. Yep. We all knew this was coming. <laughs> we, Crush Forty yeah. is going to end it all yeah. with Live and Learn. They, they cannot, yeah. they cannot yeah. walk away from a show without doing Live and Learn. It's just... Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's Super never complete without Live and I, Learn. I think if they ever did that, people would absolute riot. I mean, <laughs> they, <laughs> buildings yeah, would be like, burned down. <laughs> uh, stuff will be broken. Uh, Sega's <laughs> headquarters will be invaded. Cars will be set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Cops like more than had, likely be called after that. They had, oh, the, yeah. they had the classic Sonic games. They had, I think they had Sonic CD. Sonic, of course, Chris Ford did Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Um, yeah. What they did? They also do like the eight bit games as well. I don't know if they've done none of those. Like. The symphony itself did like you know the eight bit game music. Yeah, eight bit game medley. Um, I also like their um the soundtrack. I I also love what the um you know, okay, so around the time the symphony was before Sonic Cars Ultimate, and apparently I heard that um if you listen like if you boot up Sonic Cars Ultimate and you hear Reach Reach for the Stars, you'll think oh it sounds like exactly it sounds like it sounds like the symphony. Well, guess what. It is the version that they use for the symphony because composer Tomoya Otani actually confirmed it on Twitter that um, the the version of Reach for the Stars that they used for the symphony was made specifically for the game, which is fantastic. Which is what I thought and, it was. Yes, exactly. And, and of course, uh, Speak With Your Heart, it was basically, it was just a mashup of one half being the 2010 version, and the other half being the um, the Rainbow Colors version, or the remix. And I will make one gripe right now. If you, if any of you have ever beaten Sonic Colors Ultimate, I think the the remix they used for Speak with Your Heart was a complete letdown to me. I just I felt like it it would have been more be- it would have been more preferable if they used the version that was played for the Symphony version. The symphony version is much better than what the the what was used in the game. It felt like a beta version of of the remix. Like it was like it was like at its beta stage, I think. I feel like what they should have done was they should have done with the they should have done what they did with with Reach for the Stars. Use the symphony version of Speak with Your Heart. That would have been amazing. We had second view in the chat bring up a very good point. Symphony is sorely missing. Knuckles chaotix. Yes, <laughs> that is true. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. Very, very good point. Yes. Yeah. I guess they didn't know how to fit it in anywhere since it didn't fit in with any of the categories. It didn't even fit in with the Game Gear uh, medley. So. Yeah. Which that was what surprised me. 
I mean, they were able to fit in Sonic 06 and Shadow of the Hedgehog. And what are your thoughts on uh, on the uh, guest vocalist Nate wants to battle? Oh my God, I was so excited! I I, it's like, um, oh my gosh! I, I mean, Nate wants to battle. It's like I've already been listening to his music. You know, I've heard a lot of his Sonic remixes and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just in his covers. It's just like to see him and uh, see him pop up in Sonic Symphony. I was like, oh my God, I love Nate! Yeah, that would be great. and how many times have he? How many covers of Escape from the City has he I know, has right? this guy done? More than I... I don't think I could count that high. Um, I don't have that many he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah Michael, Michael, Michael's right. Nate wants to battle is a god. Yes. yes. He's very he is very much a god. Yeah. Music like, why one. can't this guy be the next vocalist for the future Sonic game? Right. Honestly. You never know. Mm -hmm. I, he never know. The fact that he's he, they even got him in for this is like amazing in itself. Who knows? Maybe it leads to future uh, collaborations. Yes, I mean I I know that I heard that it's rumored that Tony Harnell's gonna do a song for the upcoming Sonic game, which might be which might be true. I mean we haven't heard Tony Tony Harnell sing since like, gosh, like Sonic Heroes. I don't remember. Uh, or was it Escape from the City? I thought that was his last song before he did Sonic and Tails R. No, I think... Mm. No, I think it's, if it was Escape from the City, then that's probably the remix from Sonic Generations. Yeah. But I, I, that, oh, might, okay. that might have been Ted Poley mm, that, that, that remix, sang it. Uh -huh. um, oh, yeah. The, lot, mm. It was Ted Poley, I think, that did the um, the remix for, uh, for Sonic Generations. I think the last song that Tony Harnell actually did work on was We Can from Sonic Heroes. That that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. Somebody out there could probably confirm it for us. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody. Uh, uh, race the win. Be... What about race the win? Oh, race the win. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. I was yeah, because I, I like now that you mentioned it, like race the win they came to mind, but I wasn't really sure if it was him that actually sang it. Oh, yeah, that was, I hear okay. it in my head. Yeah, it is. I did not know yeah, that. that. I've never played Sonic Rivals, so I still got. I haven't to. played. I don't, I have the the like CD albums of um so, like Sonic um oh it's not, not not Sonic original album but like um Sonic collection albums from throughout the years. So right. and one of them is is the Race to Win mm -hmm. on. I can't remember, but I, I have I, it on my city collection. I really wish Somewhere Race on to, here. I really wish Race to Win was more of a full song instead of just a one minute like opening yeah. song. Yeah. yeah. Like more like like more of um um an extended version. Yeah. Is that, is that mm -hmm. what you're say? Yeah. But oh my gosh. Um I know they had some Tani. Um I think they had a uh, 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 Matata Nakamura. Oh, apparently that was Ted Poley that sang Race to Win. Oh, oh, well, that's oh, Ted Poley. Okay, that's oh. Ted Poley. Okay. It's it's like maybe Ted Poley and Tony Harnell sound so similar. I mean, that's what I thought, mm, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So technically, I was right. The, I think the last time Tony Harnell did work on before Sonic and Tails are was probably Sonic Heroes, the song "We Can," the uh, the theme from a uh, theme Sonic theme from Sonic Heroes. I mean. I just, I just be happy just to get, you know, Crush. I just hope Crush Forty is working on the next like Sonic game music. Cause yeah. I mean, it's rumored that Crush Forty might might be doing a song for the, for the for the for the upcoming Sonic sequel movie. Oh, I heard about that rumor. Yeah, I mean, especially after you yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think that's been confirmed. That's not been confirmed no, at know, all. But I know it's been talked about. That's that. not out of question either just the way things have been looking on twitter and stuff like that especially yeah. you know since uh you know johnny was you know tweeting about how he got a chance to watch the movie and he was tweeting about that stuff and right stuff. I, feel I feel like, like if cross 40 were to do a song from the sonic movie i think that should probably get cross 40 an oscar for best original song <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> Oh. Like they should they should get any every award imaginable. Give them a give them a Grammy. Give give them an Oscar. That would be amazing. I was literally about to ask: Has any movie soundtrack ever won the Grammys? Yeah, there was one. There was one. That makes second to Yeah. 
Uh, I think we better move on to our last topic. Um, here we got one more topic to cover. It's a short one. Okay. Uh, okay. Sonic Forty Four is now out. Oh, oh, what an issue. That's all mm-hmm. I can say. No, I'm not going to spoil anything, but... No. What yeah. an issue. I have not had a chance to read it yet, so I got I to get to the comic uh, Coliseum of Comics to um, pick up my yeah. copy. And the co- cover was really good, too. Yes. That, yeah. Uh, good. Our good pal Gigi uh, made cover A. Yes. That's why I say it. People, people that. that's why I'm going to be biased and say people get cover A version. I mean, you're you're a full yeah, time collectible. Yeah, get all of them. But get, get if you got cho- to love and support, if you got to choose also, one cover, yeah. go with cover A. Were we also gonna get Gigi um as a guest in the show? Um, in, yes, in the at some yeah, point. Yeah, but yeah, some point, point. Yeah. we're gonna we're gonna wait mm-hmm. because she's still dealing with uh the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Um, oh right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Poor Gigi. You know, our hearts go out to her. So yeah. Someone's like, I, I need to be 44 made me hate Starline even more. Please, I don't know anything yet. I yeah, don't know. yeah, yeah. We don't even know yet. I don't even know. I, I read it, but, uh, you know. Sega Mew says, I get at least two copies of each cover because it counts as, cause count yeah. as two diehard yeah, Sonic fan. That is true. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, every time I go to my, uh, every time I go to Coliseum of Comics, uh, and that's usually like a couple of weeks after the, uh, the 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 comic is released. Apparently, they're already sold out. So, oh man. And mm. you know they don't order more because they don't they don't like having like too many issues of Sonic hanging around for some odd. I feel like what they should do is get more supplies so that way th- so that way customers are gonna have more demand for these comics. Yeah, that 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 that, that, that kind of like a weird thing because sometimes, sometimes you, there, there, there's there, there's a bit of supply, but there's not enough demand for it. Yeah. Well, because you like like what you say too is like you know you can order as many as you want, but if you end up ordering like too many, then you just have like a bunch of leftovers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That kind of just piles up. The, and then yeah. some of them I saw on eBay. I know uh, with uh, free comic book day that happened here a couple of weeks ago, like about a month ago, um, I missed out on it, but I went to Coliseum of Comics like the Monday afterward and I'm like, do y'all still have some of the free comics? And I wanted the free Sonic comic and I saw where they still had it sitting on the table and they said, yeah, we're trying to pack this stuff up and get it shipped back. So, Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I missed that because mm-hmm. I was out of town at the time. Right. All right. Uh, second Muse says comic stores have to order each issue like three months ahead of time, so they have to estimate based on region demand. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. yeah. Mm. So in a way, they, so in a way, either they have to pre-order the comics ahead of time, or they just wait till they, or wait until they get released. So, and IDW can be very inconsistent with their release schedule. It's like you know, it all really depends. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I mean, half the time, I don't even know when a Sonic comic is coming out because every time I think it's going to come, it either got delayed or uh, it suddenly got moved up or what. It's just like... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's been that uh, way sometimes with cover artists, too, where sometimes they they ship them around. Uh, oh, I also... Right, I had to remember this. I guess Tracy, Yar- uh, Tracy Yardley did the pencils again uh, for, the, for the new issue. Ooh, nice. Nice. Tracy Yardley I, is an amazing artist. I, it's it's actually good to see Tracy Yardley back because I think for a while there he had to take a he had to take a hiatus because of uh, family issues. Right. Yeah. yeah. He came yeah. back with like what uh, forty two, so uh, somewhat recent. Okay. That's good. Yeah. But yeah, that was our last topic. So. Um, uh, normally at this point we try to get a guest on to uh, like maybe uh, uh, get a Q and A go in or some odd, but I think we're uh, because we've been able to get a guest on this week and we're probably not gonna be able to get a guest on for several weeks at any rate. Um, we can uh, at least move on to audience questions. So um, absolutely. If uh, 